Well, Northwest Allen County Schools will need voters' approval on a referendum come May. Joining us today to talk about what the referendum means for the district is Superintendent Chris Himsel. Thanks so much for coming in again, Chris. I know you were in yesterday. Yeah, thank you for having us. a regular us. thing, right? Yeah, so let's talk about the process first of getting a referendum on the ballot. Right. Um, well, this is a new process for us. Um, the state law changed in 2008, 2009, which is why we're doing a referendum this year. And so what it is involved is about 18 months to two years worth of planning to talk to our community, talk to our um, financial advisors to find out where we're at, um, do demographic forecast, um, and then compare our options about whether or not we should expand current buildings or whether or not we should build a new building. And after doing that, we decided to build a new building and passed a resolution to be on the ballot. And you and I have done stories about this. We've yes. talked a lot about it. Um, there's been, it seems, support for the new elementary school kind of since the beginning, a, a lot of support. Would you agree? There has been. Um, our biggest challenge is to make sure that we educate those who do not have a, a student directly involved in the school. Mm -hmm. um, and our school board has worked really hard for the last five years to reduce our property tax rates in anticipation that at some point our growth was going to require us to expand classroom space. Mm -hmm. And so we're able to do this at the same time Maple Creek Middle School's bonds will be paid off and our tax rates will actually be the same or lower than what they are in 2017 when we actually build a new building in 2020. Mm -hmm. And explain why you need to do this, what the situation is right now. Yeah. Um, a lot of kids. Yes, currently we have portable trailer classrooms at Huntertown. Next yeah. year we will have more. Wow. Um, we will eventually have portable trailer classrooms at Cedar Canyon, Eel River, Perry Hill, and Oakview as well. Mm -hmm. um, we've grown about 500 students since the last time we opened a new elementary school. We've, the state has also implemented full day kindergarten, which doubled the number of kindergarten classrooms that we needed. Mm -hmm. And since our buildings were all built before full day kindergarten, they weren't designed for full day kindergarten in terms of number of classrooms. And we're projected to grow another three to 500 students in the next three to four years and that does not include some developments that you all have talked about and reported on in the last couple of months. Mm -hmm. I was just going to say, is this all the result of just more people moving yeah. in within the district? It is. Um, hopefully it's because we're doing a great job of educating kids and paying attention to the inv individual needs of students. Um, people who we talk to indicate that one of their factors is to move out there for our schools and, and we're blessed to be able to do that. Um, it's a good problem to have. Um, fortunately, it's not growing as fast as it did back in the 90s and the 2000s. And so it doesn't look like we're going to need to expand classroom space at the rate that we did back then. But we have reached the point where we've run out of classroom space and it's time to build some new space. Mm -hmm. Our kids need to have safe learning environments. Mm -hmm. Have you figured out where it might be yet or is that something you're still looking into? We have. We've got multiple locations that, um, that we're taking a look at and we're working with the families that are involved there. And as soon as we finalize um, one of those locations with the families that are involved, we'll make a public announcement. Mm -hmm. and, and what happens if the referendum doesn't get enough votes? If it does not, uh, as I indicated, we would have portable trailer classrooms, not only at Huntertown, but also at Cedar Canyon, Eel River, Perry Hill, and Oakview. In a worst case scenario, if our forecasts are exactly um, work out the way they do, which rarely they do, they usually get distributed differently. But if they do, there's a minimum of eight trailer classrooms that would be needed and possibly as many as 15 or 16. Wow. Just depends on how the distribution of the new students are throughout the district. Wow, okay. Well, you have that you needed 500 to get it on the ballot, 500 signatures. Correct. So, what do you think your chances are of uh, it we're, we're, We feel good about it, but we also know we still have a lot of work to do to educate people and to make sure that people understand um, that voting yes is not going to raise the tax rate um, because of the complexities of property tax caps. I can't guarantee that individual tax bills won't go up. That'll be different for everybody. But the overall tax rate will be the same or lower than it was in 2017. Okay, Great. important for people to know. Yeah, Chris Simsel, superintendent of with NAC, thanks so much for coming in this morning. For more information and to see this interview again, go to our website, wayne.com, a little later on today. We'll be right back.